Have you ever looked at the person closest to you, your partners or spouses, for instance, and realize that even after knowing them for years, there's so much about them you still don't fully understand? We all have layers upon layers that often remain hidden from view. The person you think you know, inside and out likely, still has depths and complexities you haven't even begun to grasp yet. The true essence of who someone only reveals themselves during certain events and circumstances that strip away their persona and expose their authentic self. The self that lies beneath the surface, their core values, how they deal with stress and conflict, the habits that drive you nuts. It's during the tests of travel, lack of money, loss and grief, or just operating on zero sleep, where their real nature shines through, like seeing behind the curtain of the person they try to project publicly versus the one they are in unguarded moments. You may have been with your partner for a decade, but have you seen how they handle anger? When they're furious, how generous or selfish are they with money? How do they communicate when you're bickering or when you tell them no or your lifelong best friend? Do you know how they'll react when they've had too much to drink or are under the influence? What about when you're forced to live together? You'll quickly be introduced to all their quirks and annoying little habits. Getting to truly know someone, warts and all, is one of the biggest tests of any close relationship. It's a journey filled with unfiltered moments of enlightenment that allow you to peel back the layers and see them for who they truly are at their core. Buckle up, because today we're going to dive deep into those make or break situations that provide those candid glimpses into someone's authentic self. The good, the bad, and the ugly, it's all going to be laid bare. You'll never see the people closest to you the same way again. Number one, traveling together. There's no better way to test a relationship than by traveling together. You're out of your routines and comfort zones, having to make decisions on the fly about where to go, what to do, and what to eat. One of you is probably playing tour guide, while the other is along for the ride. It's the ultimate pressure cooker. How they handle travel stress, like missed flights, getting lost, or a crappy Airbnb says a lot. Do they have a meltdown at the first hiccup? Or can they roll with the punches? Are they considerate of your needs on the trip? Or are they calling all the shots? Do they slack off and expect you to plan everything? Nothing tests compatibility, like spending 24-7 together with no breaks. Number two, saying no. How someone reacts when you tell them no or put boundaries in place is very telling. Do they accept it with no issues or do they guilt trip you endlessly until you give in? Some people, especially those with entitlement issues, cannot handle being told no without throwing a tantrum or fit. They view it as a personal attack rather than you just establishing a boundary. Number three, fights and anger. You haven't really known someone until you've seen them angry, like really, really pissed off. How do they express that anger? Do they yell and say hurtful things? Give you the silent treatment for days? Or maybe they're confrontational in an unhealthy way. How quickly do they get mad about small things? And how do they act when you're the one who made them angry versus when it's something else that sets them off? Seeing their anger habits is so telling. And how do they act and communicate when you two are fighting or bickering? That's the true test right there. Do they fight fair and actually listen? Or do they just try to win at all costs? Number four, living together. You can date someone for years and years, but you won't truly know them until you've lived with them. Their quirks, habits, and idiosyncrasies will be on full display 24-7 with no breaks. All those little things they do that low-key annoy you, like how they leave dishes everywhere or never ever replace the toilet paper roll, will be amplified by a thousand. You'll realize just how messy, noisy, or neat they really are behind closed doors. Their routines and how they spend their downtime will be out in the open too. Do they veg out in front of the TV for hours? Or are they always active and productive? What time do they wake up and go to bed? It's like seeing the director's cut of who they really are. Some other examples of living together test. How they divide up chores. How much little me time they need. And how they handle conflict and confrontation under the same roof. Number five, money situations. How someone views and handles Money is huge. Are they a saver spender or totally irresponsible with cash? Do they have their finances in order or are they always broke? Are they generous 
or selfish with their money. Once you travel together, or even just go out to nice dinners regularly, you'll quickly see their money attitudes emerge. Do they go overboard and blow tons of cash? Or are they so cheap that it makes you want to pull your hair out? Number six, under the influence. Seeing how someone acts when drunk or high tells you so much. Their freak flag flies a little higher and their true, unfiltered personality emerges for better or worse. The happy, silly drunk can turn into a sloppy, hot mess who blacks out every time. The cool, chill stoner transforms into a lazy couch potato. You get to see all their vices on display in a whole new light. It's a peek behind the curtain at a version of them without that inner voice holding back their thoughts and actions. Like are they an emotional or angry drunk? Do they get way too flirtatious and handsy? Do they turn into a goofy prankster? When stoned, it's one of their true selves shining through. Number seven, treating others. How your person treats the servers, customer service workers, strangers on the street, etc. is such a good judge of character. Do they act rude and entitled or show basic decency? And beyond that, how do they interact with your friends and family? The way they speak to and about your loved ones shows you how much they respect or don't respect your inner circle and relationships. Number eight, dealing with loss, going through grief, hardship or tragedy together shows you someone's vulnerability and how they cope. During the darkest times, do they shut down completely or reach out for support? Are they able to process and healthily express their sadness or do they turn to unhealthy vices or avoidance tactics? How they deal with loss gives you a window into their emotional intelligence. I remember bumping into an ex not long after she lost her son. Instead of dealing with it though, she turned to some pretty messed up stuff to try to feel better. And get this, she even reached out to her exes, using what happened to her son as an excuse to talk to them again. It was like she was trying to fill this massive hole in her heart, but all it did was make things worse. Number eight, no sleep, high stress. Speaking of stress, you'll get a nice preview of how someone handles it and communicates under pressure when they're running on fumes and zero sleep. Do they get snappy, cranky and pick fights over every little thing? Or do they stay pretty chill and just power through? You'll see how much patience and impulse control they really have when they're running on empty. It's like the human's version of gremlins after midnight. Number nine, rough patches. Any healthy relationship or friendship goes through rough times or periods of conflict and tension. It's inevitable how your person navigates and communicates during those rocky stretches is very revealing about their character. Do they own up to their part or always play the victim and blame others? Do they try to work through issues constructively or just bury their head in the sand? Are they willing to go to counseling or therapy if needed? Their problem solving skills get put to the test. Number 10, lack of money. How they act when cash is tight or they're straight up broke shows you their priorities and values. Do they stay positive and figure it out or panic and get super stressed? Do they spend recklessly when they don't have much income coming in? Someone's attitude and approach during financial struggles give huge insight into their money mindset. You'll see if they're responsible and solution focused or more likely to bury their head in the sand. Bottom line, oh, yeah. that was a lot to take in, huh? But hopefully it was an eye-opening look into the many layers and complexities that make up the people closest to us. Even those we think we have all figured out. The reality is that you never truly know someone until you've experienced the full scope of their authentic selves in all types of situations and challenges. It's those unguarded moments where their mask slips off and you get a candid glimpse into who they really are at their core, whether it's witnessing how they deal with grief, fatigue, high stress, lack of funds, or just trying to live together harmoniously. Their true colors and ugly habits are bound to make an appearance. And let's be honest, seeing them in those vulnerable moments, like when they've had too much to drink or are venting about work, is both shocking and deeply insightful. It's like getting a peek behind the curtain at their raw, authentic self that few others get to see. Maybe you watched this and realized your partner and loved ones have whole other sides you never knew existed. Or perhaps it struck a chord because you recognized some of your own less flattering qualities and habits mirrored back at you. Whichever it is, there's comfort in knowing 
that we all have layers upon layers and idiosyncrasies that don't get exposed until the precise situations draw them out. No one is as perfect or has it all together as they'd like others to believe. That vulnerability and imperfection is what connects us all as human beings, simply trying to navigate the beautiful mess of life and relationships in all their ugly glory. It's the realities and tests that forge the deepest bonds. So embrace the quirks, habits, and complexities of your loved ones. Let them see the unfiltered you too, because at the end of the day, getting to truly know someone's soul, the good, bad, and weird as hell parts is one of life's greatest gifts. It's proof of the realness. If you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It truly means a lot and allows me to keep making more content for you all. Feel free to also drop any other video ideas you'd like me to cover in the comments section below. The truth and insight set you free, baby. So get obsessed with me and let's take this deep journey together. See you next time.